closer look reveals the true extent of devastation. But the real impact of catastrophe on this once prosperous region can only be felt here, where heavy machinery now chews up the mangled remains of Anja, a town until last Friday, now a mass grave. Here and there we saw reminders that this was once a place of the living. There is a tragedy under every pile of bricks here, but we found the worst tragedy under this pile. Hard to believe, but this used to be a street. On Friday morning, 400 school children took part in a National Day parade when the earthquake struck. Rajiv, a security guard, was there and watched in horror. They had just come to the end of the parade, he told me. The band was playing the national anthem when the earth started to shake. The houses on both sides of the street just collapsed and crushed everyone. No one survived. Suddenly there's a commotion. A digger has churned up a body, the body of one of the dead school children. But there's no time for burial. The corpses simply line the pavement. Life goes on. 90% of all the people who lived in this neighborhood have disappeared under the rubble. I'm sitting on top of what used to be a four-story building. And although most of them are feared dead, one or two have been found alive just in the last few hours. On a neighboring pile of rubble, we spotted an unfolding drama. <laughs> Russian rescue workers climb into an opening in the rubble. They get to the end of a six-foot tunnel, and there they find this. Amina. Amina, 50 years old, trapped in what used to be her kitchen, but alive. She calls out for water and is given some. Her first drink in four days. Just before sunset, Amina is rescued. Triumph diluted by tragedy. Her two sons and her daughter are dead, still buried in the house. Amina's ordeal underground has ended. The one above ground is just about to start. Dancing skies, jogging grass, and melodious wind spread the potion of happiness. Toxic the air had become for while the delectable Smells were merging, friends were giggling, and parents were chattering, but it all became past. For they were torn apart, 